Hello there and welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Thanks a lot for the response that you guys are giving me on my YouTube videos. So what I'm planning to do is to make a YouTube tutorial series consisting of around 3 to 4 videos in which I'll show how to make a famous character from scratch. Also before beginning with the tutorials, I thought that I would make a brief video on what kind of material I use, what are its secrets and what kind of tools we can use while working on the material. I haven't learned scripting from anyone and I'm learning it by simple trial and error methods. Hence I'll try to show as much as uh, basics as possible in this video. So there are various types of art and the artworks which I do is sculpting and cardboard art. And today we are gonna explore more about sculpting or we can call it clay art. The clay that I use is the most common one that is fabricated molded it is also called as epoxy clay, epoxy compound or shilpkar clay. You can simply pause the video if you want to read the instructions but they will be available on your packet as well. This clay is available easily at any stationery stores and currently the packet I am using is the 800 grams one is because I require it in larger quantities and it costs for around 250 rupees. If you are using this clay for the first time and if you don't need it in larger quantities then you can always buy the 50 gram packet which is available only for 20 rupees so i will be explaining the properties of this clay and also i will be covering some mistakes precautions as well as the secrets of this clay throughout the video there are other clays which never harden and you can harden them by you, you doing some other process but i don't use them because the products that i make usually our final finished products and they need to be quite durable now as you can see the clay is divided into two parts resin and hardener this clay is similar to m seal but it is more on the art side so that it becomes easy to sculpt and work on the materials that you will be needing will be some water some toothpicks and a cloth also there are some sculpting tools which i will explain later in this video itself also i would suggest that don't try to invest in tools in the beginning once you start exploring and once you develop interest in this art form then you can buy tools one by one so the resin and the hardener won't harden unless and until you mix them in equal amounts so there's one precaution that i would like to say is that use only required amounts of clay so that it does not get wasted because once it hardens you cannot smoothen it back again hence use it in small amounts or you can even use it bigger amounts depending on your requirement now to mix the clay what you do is just wet your hand a little then wipe it little with the cloth you just have to make your hand a little moist so that the clay doesn't stick on your hand much and then you start mixing it until it gets completely white now this clay will leave mark on the surface, hence I am using chart paper below. Do not use newspaper. So I suggest using a chart paper or a cloth for protection so that you don't damage your table like that. This mixing thing will take a little time and as you can see that I am using only the tip of my fingers because I don't want my whole hand to get dirty. It becomes easy to clean afterwards. Also you can use your whole hand to mix larger amounts of clay. I would suggest using just one hand in order to mix the clay so your other hand remains dry and you can use it for other works like in this case speaking dialogues. Now our clay is completely white and ready so you have to clean the hands just dip it in water and remove the clay by using cloth so that it does not stick on your hands and it's easy to remove the clay when it's soft. Wash your hands completely with soap before having meals. And now once you have kneaded the clay and made it ready, it won't stick to your hands unless and until you use too much of water on it. The most common mistake that happens and which I have also seen happening during my workshop is that people use too much of water. Now I'll just show that what happens when you use too much of water. Completely soft and sticky it's even sticking to your hands a bit and also it's very hard to you know make things when it's in this form 
of course this form can be used at other places as well but i would suggest that you just wait and until you get quite hands on on this clay now in case if you guys have added too much water what you do is just keep this material aside ah, damn this, this becomes damn sticky can't even remove it so what you do is just keep it aside and just allow it to rest for around 20 minutes then it will be back again as normal also a secret that i discovered accidentally is that this clay does not stick to plastic so another secret that i would like to tell you about this clay is that you get different work experience after every 15 to 20 minutes at the start the clay is very soft hence it becomes difficult to sculpt on it but you can use it to cover any surface you can see in the video you can use it to cover any surface as it becomes very easy since it's soft and you can use water to spread it properly evenly on the surface so now it's been around 20 minutes and the material is a bit hard than before it is best for sculpting because it is not too soft and it is not also too hard and it won't even stick to my hands unless and until you add more water and also the one which i showed you before by adding a lot of water which we messed the clay up has now you can see that it has now become a normal clay it is not even sticking that much and you can use it again for your work you won't understand this unless and until you take the clay and try things out yourself so just don't be afraid take the clay keep experimenting because there are no rules over here just keep trying and keep making mistakes because you'll eventually learn from them so keep trying keep making different shapes just do whatever you want so that you can you know be familiar with the clay so till our clay hardens i'll just tell you about the tools uh, the first tools that i'll be explaining is the spatulas i mainly use them to you know straighten or flatten the surface more make it more even as you can see in the video i bought this individually at you can get those from any stationery stores i also use the spatulas to sculpt on my clay as well then comes the sculpting tools you can use them to do whatever you want on the clay carve it remove the clay scrap of the clay just whatever there is no any kind of universal application just use them in any way you want to get your job done then comes the ball tools i mainly use them to make eye sockets but there are other applications to them as well then comes the wooden sculpting tools uh, you can use them as spatulas as well but also they have similar applications as the tools we saw before then comes the silicone rubber tools they are used in very detailed sculpting work you can see they are in two sizes big and small you will see the application of all of these tools in my character tutorial videos i like these tools a lot but just remember that whenever you use them on mold it simply wash them off after use because the clay gets hard on them and whenever you try to remove the clay you might damage them so these are the tools that i use so it's time to go back to the clay now it's been more than half an hour since our clay has hardened and you can see it won't stick to my hands now also if you have any sculpting or any other shaping work to do you have to do it within this phase because after this the clay will become so hard that you cannot do any kind of work on it you can use your toothpick to write or sculpt on a clay a toothpick or a pen will also do see how different experience you get while working with a toothpick on different types of clay just feel free to create whatever you want there are no rules so just keep making just keep creating just keep exploring and just keep experimenting because that's how you will get familiar with this clay now coming to the coloring part the colors that i use are acrylics and i would suggest that you color it when the clay is wet or soft now why to do that 
I'll explain that once the clay hardens. So on the left side is the clay which we colored when it was soft and on the right side is the clay which we colored when it was hard. So you can see that by simple nail scratch the color is coming off which is not good for accidental damages, right? But here you can see that the color won't come off by simple nail scratches. I'm trying out various methods to scratch it but it doesn't work. Now why this happens because the clay is more sticky when it is soft hence when you put color on it the color sticks to the clay properly. Of course if you use tools then you can give it a scratch but that's not our aim. Our aim is to protect it from accidental damages and hence this technique does around 80 to 90 percent of the job. So it's been around more than three hours since our clay has hardened and now you can see that it's so durable that even a needle tool cannot break it. You can also see with a toothpick. You can try and the toothpick breaks. So this material is highly durable and harder than air hardening clay and it is water resistant. Yeah, you can use it for playing purposes. You can break the thinner parts easily by hand or they might also break after falling. You can use a spanner to break the thicker parts which are not easily breakable by hands. Also you can use sandpaper to smoothen your surface. You can do lots and lots of stuff with this clay. So we are done with the basics and things might not work at start when you are working on this clay but they will surely do once you keep practicing. So determination, patience and practice is the key if you want to get good with sculpting. So once your hands are set on sculpting, you can create whatever you want. I'm just fan of, of all these cartoon characters and movie characters and hence I just keep creating them for myself and also for my orders. That's the head of the Iron Man suit that I'm working on right now. Also you can create realistic artworks from this clay as well. There is no limit to creativity and there is no limit to what you can do with any material you have. It's just you have to do it with the pure heart, pure mind and with full dedication. So that's all for the basics. I hope you liked the video. You need not be an artist to try this. It's easy and mainly it's fun. So if you have any doubts or if you have any points that I might have missed, then just post it down in the comment box below. And yes, I am working on tutorials which I will be posting soon. Just follow me on my social media to get updates. Links are given in the description. So do like and share this video and also subscribe to my channel. Till then, see you next time with a new creation.